Look what I found on YouTube, Jim. Let's see what you got. A, a piano playing cat? A ground rod digging gopher? No. No, something better. Look at this. Great moments in grounding history. Great moments in grounding history. Okay, nothing happened. That's the idea. When grounding works, nothing happens. There are no great moments. Nobody even thinks about grounding unless there's a problem. That's brilliant. Nothing happened. Ah, but things do happen where grounding is concerned, especially in older homes and buildings. Remember us talking about ground rod life? I do. Any ground rod more than 30 years old should probably be replaced with two new ground rods at least eight feet long and six feet apart. I'd say definitely, not probably. Over long periods of time, ground rods will deteriorate. In some places, ground rods won't last 10 years. So should we just dig them up and inspect them, or? You know you can't get those things up. I can ask Chuck, he can do it. No, it would be safer to replace them and bring at least that part of the system up to modern standards. Mm -hmm. Problems with ground rods aren't the only grounding problems in older buildings, though. I know. I, I ran into one last week. The original grounding system connected to a metal water pipe that ran out of the building and into a well. At some point in time, the metal pipe between the building and the well had been replaced with plastic. So there was no working local ground at all. I've seen old bare ground wires that have corroded completely into where they touched a damp basement wall. There are a lot of houses and buildings around the country that have these kinds of age-related problems. Thousands. Tens of thousands. We should try to do something about that. That would be a great moment in grounding history.